So this is the, actually the golf course we'll play a bunch when, if uh, it's busy over at the other two courses. This is actually a great test because um, you can make some birdies, but there's a lot of tree line tight holes. So right. first hole is par five pretty much. We'll just aim up this left side and try to slide it back. A little tough to turn in all these these layers in here today. <laughs> like you're playing in Northern California, right? Exactly. Getting used to that pebble. <laughs> all right, perfect. Right down the middle. <laughs> oh, I like the two ball. Just right. in case. I mean, it's breakfast you know, ball already. What's this? That's what you got to do. It's going to be, it's going to look like a little pea shooter going out there. Nice and short. There it is. You don't need this ball. Get that out of here. No. <laughs> Lay it up into the water. <laughs> oh, not the best. <laughs> I think I think we're fighting out for bogey on this hole. <laughs> bogey might win. It might win this on a one. reachable par five today. <laughs> on a dry day, where are you on this hole? Uh, right up in here. The, this drains usually my my spot. Okay. Um, and you know, the fairway slopes this way. So it's usually just hitting like a, probably five or four iron up over those trees. And you know, that's the tough part, just getting it up and around those trees, Right. which I failed at today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you lived out here? Um, I moved down here right after Georgia. So okay. I came down right after college. Was it you had some friends or? or what, yeah, what a lot of Georgia thing? guys moved down here. There's uh, th three guys or two guys that I played with mm -hmm. uh, that moved down here first. And then a couple more guys that I played with my age and younger moved down here as well. So there's, right. I mean, there's a bunch of Georgia guys down here. I would say six or seven. Nice. And um, I mean, it's just, it's kind of, we just kind of, it worked at Georgia and it's working yeah. here. So we just kind of didn't want to change anything. And, and uh, the facilities are great. The weather's usually great, except the day like today. Right. <laughs> and then, uh, so it's a good place to be. Nice. And good somehow, practice for Harbor Town. Yeah, somehow stayed out of the water. <laughs> but I might, I might have to, Maneuver some pine cones and some pine trees. <laughs> Are you dropping back there? Let's, oh, I'm up. I'm right here. I'm nice. good. Uh oh. So, do you play the percentages here, or what do you? What's your typical play? Well, um, I would. I usually am more the aggressive player. Uh huh. I would say the only time I wouldn't play aggressive is if I had a three-shot lead on 18. Right. And I'd probably still do it, but I might think consider not. So here I could, I this tree right in front of me, I got to go either left or right. I could probably get it closer going right, but I don't know if I can, I got to hook it and it's only going. Phil would go right. Yeah, I could probably use a different club. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll see if we can make this work. So are you trying to turn it over? Yeah, with a seven iron from 70 yards <laughs> out, out of pine straw. So y'all might want to be careful back there. <laughs> oh, I did it. I just didn't hit it hard enough. Yep. Wow. All right. Well, <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Well, that's not helping my cause of winning. <laughs> All right, I left the door open for you. You did. A little skank out of the rough. Oh, nifty. Well, the only time I've ever really thought about it was I hadn't chipped in in a while, and I'd been taking the flag out a bunch. Right. So um, I was like, all right, I'm leaving this one in and see if it changes the luck. And I made that exact shot. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so then I kept leaving it in for a while, and then I right. didn't chip one in, so then I started taking it out. So, <laughs> I mean, it really is based off of the gut on the. Unless it's some crazy shot that I, the flag will help. I right. mean, if I'm if it's straight downhill and I'm in the rough and I know that I can't, the ball's not going to stop. Right. Then I'll actually leave it in yeah. in hopes that you know I'm legitimately aiming at the hole 
trying right. to make my ball hit the flag stick so it will slow it down. Right. And that's only happened once in okay. my career, but it <laughs> did work. It was at Sony. Nice. And I think it was on maybe 13 or 14, and I was I was completely dead over the green and just hit a hit a flop shot, knowing I couldn't get it inside 10 feet unless right. it hit the flag stick and hit the flag stick and went in. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the one occasion that it's actually paid off. Right. Ooh. It would have helped there too. That ball was moving. <laughs> All right, uh, maybe All maybe right. par will do it. We were talking. I got a putt. Yeah. Easy. I mean, maybe I should. Maybe we should change jobs. Maybe right. I'll start working for the so and you take my. <laughs> that's a beautiful par. Looks like it all yeah. the way. We thought bogey might tie, but there we go. Par it is. <laughs> All right, I'm one down. There you go. If I could do one thing, it would smooth that out, and it'd be incredible. Smooth which out. See that little curve right there? Yeah, yeah. It's Betonardis are always really sharp. Yeah, and they're that's it's softening it up a little bit. Yeah. So Cookie, give me one of those old Scotty Mizunos when he first started. That's I what I want. He's got a basement. Flow. I know. Come on, man. <laughs> That'll help my club count for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, tell me this hole. All right, same same sort of thing. See that uh, light green pine out there, kind of right in the middle? Yep. Um, just right off right that with those kind of a little cut right at the 150 mark. All right. It's uh, on a normal day, it could be three wood. Right. Unless you feed it up the right, but a day like today, you just smash it's driver. driver. Yeah. Perfect. Which one is that? Is that the? Uh, this is the same one same as one you. Here? This is the ST. Yeah, yeah, and you're turning it over. I like that. <laughs> I know a lot more than I have. I've been playing no golf. Now we'll see it about 60 by me. <laughs> Maybe more. <laughs> <laughs> that was better. <laughs> Listen to us. We're talking about going to the beach, and we're out here freezing, working. We're all at work right now. <laughs> oh. Are you? I just laser my ball and tell me the difference. <laughs> That way you know I know my yards and you know how far Al drove you. <laughs> it's it's a good ways. <laughs> I don't think this is enough. That's gotta go. All right, a little short. I'm going to use this yep. laser. My caddy's off this week. <laughs> and next, and the week after that, and the week <laughs> after that. Fishing wedge. Come on, let me see those wheels. Look at that. That's an athlete. <laughs> What's your number? I got 129. All right, you got me by 30. <laughs> That's it? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope I can get your second shot by 30. <laughs> All right, set. <laughs> I don't think this is going to grow back for any time soon, but <laughs> caring for the course here at Sea Island. <laughs> I'll give you two to one. You can't two putt that. Two to one? I, I, I want that.
and we're playing yes, for hand warmers. So I get two, I get one <laughs> of your hand warmers, and you get the other. You get two if you two pot. I got the line. All right. Shaky, cold, numb hands <laughs> on a six-footer. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> this will make it good, though. That's true. I didn't even get to put on the last hole. You closed me out. <laughs> There we go. Boom. Back to square. Pick it up, baby. <laughs> well, I guess I want to see that that putt. I want to I guess see I got to put yeah, it. I want to see this, this see if you can at least concede your two putt. <laughs> with that new putter you got going on. We'll see if it works. Right. Well, I won one bet, lost the other. <laughs> <laughs> Easy two putt. So what do you see in pro ams with the guys doing? Short all the time and Yeah, it's all it's all over the map. Yeah. I, I just I'm hopefully just creating a relationship with some cool people. Yeah. And that's what I and I try to, you know, take a last look at the golf course before it starts. Right. You know, it's I've been very fortunate this year to have a lot of good pro ams. Yeah. A lot of good people. Um I can really only count a couple times that it actually felt like a, you know, like, oh, really? I got to get out of here. But it was, it was great. Nice. I had, a, I had a bunch of cool people, and and it helps when, when you're playing such great golf courses and right. stuff. So it's been, I've been fortunate this year. Cool. Come on, <laughs> Hitagami. Yeah. That's I didn't even realize it was like it's kind of like sneaky. We put in it there. subtle on there. It was. It's because we did a one iron in that, and it was like oh, I got of, the one iron. It was like a pun on the whole only God can hit a one iron. Ah. So we wrote Japanese for human God on it. For you're buying the one or the two, you're so a Hitagami. It's funny because I got I got the one iron and I loved it, but I didn't really have a place to hit it right. until this year in Mexico. Once we were walked off and we were kind of like my cat and I always go back and figure out what we can do better for next year. Yes, yeah. put your one iron in play. <laughs> we nice. just used it at least six or seven times around. <laughs> Is that a tee ball? Oh yeah, it's yeah. a tee ball. The only time I'd use it off the ground is if there's <laughs> nothing in front of a if nothing if it's I'm going for par five and two and there's nothing in front to carry. Right. I can get it in the air, but it won't stop. Right. So that's the only difference. I got a graphite shaft in it, so it's a yep. little bit more forgiving. But it's um it's I mean it's my favorite club ever, and I and unfortunately I don't get to use it much. Right. All right, let's see if this Hitagami will work today. <laughs> Oh, too much fade. That's not Hang what on. we're looking for. Get in the bunker. I got a chance here. Whew. That is no good. Turnover. Very similar. I saw it bounce. Ooh, all right. All right. Let's see if you can get up. Both short sided in a bunker. That's right. That's what we're supposed to do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Easy hole. Sit. Oh. You're aiming for the camera or the, for the flag? Whichever one is closer to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much here either, but. <laughs> that wasn't the easiest shot. We'll see. Ooh, not a good start either. Tough day on the links. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no one wants to win. All right, I'm gonna make this. All right, 
How is it feeling in or out? Um, this one's, I think this is an out one. This Cook. is an out? I think I'm taking this flag out. I'm feeling, it didn't work on the last one, so we're going, we're going out on this one. I probably could have. It's better than I thought it was, yeah. Go and break. Go. That's good. Oh, threw one mud on that ball. Thanks. Nope. What's that little uphill breaking left? Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> Just firm right center. No way. No way. Oh. If that had gone in, we would have had a problem. But now he's got to make this. I got to see it. Oh, he's going to. I thought I had no, made it on you. I, I'm making. I'm not pulling that fill. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to win this way. I, I just want to win. <laughs> when he let Tiger pick up that four footer or whatever. No, I'm not. We're not that nice here. Nah, nothing but net. All right. <laughs> All right. Long drive contest to just figure yeah. out who wins. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Thanks, Good job, man. Buddy. Appreciate it. Good plan. <laughs>